Hi guys, welcome to my channel and for this video, I'd like to share to you guys and show to you how to set up your uh, voice attack in your uh, Elite Ninjas game. So disclaimer, uh, I do not receive any rewards or commission like money in the developer of this uh, program. So this video is for educational purpose only. So let's get started. So um, you need a voice attack program so what is voice attack program for those who do not know uh, the voice attack the voice attack program sorry uh, it's a program that you use in in-game like uh, Elite Dangerous the purpose of this is um, is to uh, controls your in-game control without using or touching your uh, your keyboard or mouse or um, joystick to control your in-game so you will be using your voice only to control it so first thing first before you start uh, creating a profile or editing a command in your voice attack you should um, do a voice speech recognition so you just go to your windows and type voice so from here uh, just click start speech recognition then you need to do this first so this setup will uh, recognize your voice so it will be the system will recognize your voice so voice attack will uh, accurately recognize whatever you say in your command so it's very important to do the setup speed recognition before you start using your voice attack so you just follow this uh, setup just hit next and choose whatever it's a uh, microphone you use then hit next then the proper uh, it will show to you the proper um, uh, mic placement so I already uh, do this so I will not uh, uh, hit next again um, what 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 will happen to this after hit next um, the, the program the Windows program will uh, um, show to you a, a, a sentence of phrases that you need to to speech to speak so you need to do that uh, in a sequence so the comp after you do that the 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 co your, your computer now your windows now is recognize your voice so that's it for that is the first thing you need to do then once you're done with that you need to uh, you can now um, uh, make your profile so this is the voice tab uh, main panel so from here you will see the your profile here is the editing edit edit profile here's some more, more option and here's the devices so as you can see uh, in my headset with microphone it's turned off so if I turn it on this is the the panel status where you can see what what's happening inside so as you can see there's some uh, word that I say that the voice tap is unrecognized based on the uh, my command listed here so if you're using a, a if you're using keyboard then you also integrated your command here in keyboard should this one should be also uh, turn on or else it will uh, your command in your in-game will not work same thing here so let's uh, we will try that later so let's check the option from here uh, I did not change anything so you can just play on this option you can play it around and one thing that uh, you can also uh, change is the unrecognized speech delay and common command weight this one is uh, on a default sound 
here also is default recognize prefix exclusion so what is what is this mm. uh, where's the help where's the help there it is exclude this word if they appear at the beginning of an, an, of an unrecognized phrase so this word will be excluded so for audio um, you need to uh, if you like to put in 50% whatever you like but here the device should be in proper uh, place you should uh, put what device you use based on your uh, default device in your recording and playback devices so this one should be in a proper place or else you, it will not work hot key system advanced nothing I did not um, change anything in that so let's go ahead and um, all right before we start uh, creating a new command or editing a new command um, on my in-game controls um, as far as I know all of these controls and are in uh, default settings so why we use uh, default settings for our voice stack so we use default settings so it will be very very easy for us to uh, create and edit so yeah that's it so this is the edit profile I'm using a uh, um, remember guys uh, I'm using the uh, uh, default key by settings on this uh, on my uh, game so this is the list of my um, command list so uh, I also uh, categorize it based on the uh, description here so you can also import a command if you have a, a file you can just press it so the files voice pack is dot uh, bat so if you want to see uh, multiple commands are expanded just click this one so you will see some how it goes sample this one you will see the multi part if you want to see only the command all of your command here so if you want it by categorize, you just press again. If you have many commands, then you're looking for something. You can filter here at your search. Then you'll see your uh, current command here. Your spoken command. This is the one that you uh, speech spoke. Uh, <laughs> this is the one that you uh, say. This is the command. And the description and the actions. So uh, let's get started. Example, we uh, we are doing some new command here. Example, we do we will do some uh, hyper space jump. So let's say if I will uh, I will say ready to jump. So when I say ready to jump, the voice attack will uh, will initiate the uh, hyper space jump to the target system that I lock but um, it will not do that since in this uh, portion there's no uh, command so when i say ready to jump to initiate that you need to press this key press as on on this panel tab you need to hit your default hyperspace jump uh, keybind in your uh, keyboard or, your, or in your flight stick in your uh, joystick sample if I uh, press this uh, keybind H, it will change. Then, uh, present these keys, this in default, you can change this one, how long it will hold, then it will be released, then hit OK. So, there you go guys. This is your uh, first command. So, when you say ready to jump, voice attack uh, will uh, do the the initiation of the uh, keybind press H key and hold for 0.1 seconds for you then you just put some uh, description here you can say hyper uh, we, we, we put the, 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 the exact uh, name for this uh, so it will be easy for us to re 
uh, define hyperspace job then the categorize you can put light and that then hit okay uh, for me I already have so let's see mine I uh, I put prepare to jump so double click then prepare to jump when I say prepare to jump then voice tank we do the rest press H key and hold then I uh, put hyperspace jump then the category is in flight miscellaneous you can also copy this one for me uh, I also put flight miscellaneous based on the controls definition here in my in-game so it will be very easy to, for me to define and recognize all it will be um, properly arranged and now if you want uh, a if you want a multi-part so a multi-part is a uh, uh, you have two uh, two command but only one keybind so how to do that example uh, this uh, landing gear so in my landing gear I have gear down and gear up so but only one uh, keybind so press G key what uh, wha what I do this I did I, I did I did this because I only have the non-full version only have 20 commands so if I will make a, an, a, another separate key bindings for this gear down and gear up I will lose uh, the, the 20 so now I, I already have 15 commands so if I will make maybe uh, the other the some some of the uh, commands will not uh, will I will lose I will lose the 20 commands so so I just use the uh, I use a different uh, I am multi part so two commands in one keybind so how do you do this so this the the, 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 the proper uh, uh, sequence so gear down then this um, what I call it what you call up this uh, uh, character I don't I forgot this one. It's a, it's, it is a apostrophe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, this character should be here. So this is gear down. This character, uh, sorry, gear down. Then this character space. Then your uh, next uh, command. This house. This is uh, the right way to put your uh, multi part, your command in a multi part. So then just press again this one then press the G key for landing gear and hit OK then that's it guys for multi part now what if uh, you, you like you like uh, some voice audio on it so there are some voice path available in uh, internet you can buy it but there's uh, one free its name is Ripley Galactic it's the kicks for voice uh, it's a pre one so example uh, here in my lock target so when I say lock target uh, voice stack will initiate the press T key and hold for 0 0.1 seconds and release after that he initiate this uh, uh, command he will play the sound of the Ripley Galactic X4 audio locking target so how to uh, how to put this one you just go to other sound and play a sound then from this uh, panel you click this one you need to browse it then look for your locking target so so here it is guys this is the locking target voice for when i say lock target you will initiate it and locking voice. target locking target yeah and that voice will be also uh, initiate so you can uh, play with the volume then other than that nothing else so I place it in 20% you can also cut this then hit ok and that's it guys for uh, placing a sound what if, if you like to place a, a multiple sound multiple audio so example of this one um, when I'm calling my uh, flight assistant Sarah, excuse me, Sarah. Go ahead, Commander. Hello, Commander. There it, guys. <laughs> I forgot to turn off the uh, 
let's just turn it up. So there, there, that, that, that is the sample. So you see um, what I'm trying to say. So this uh, multiple audio, you, if you like to make it, you just press other sound and play a random sound. So from here, uh, you just add, go to uh, your browse again, then just add whatever uh, audio, for example, for Sarah, my flight assistant, every time when, when I'm trying to call Sarah, he will say, uh, yes, commander, yes, I'm listening, something like that. Then you just uh, choose and open, then uh, don't forget to uh, change your volume, then hit OK then hit okay again then it will appear here all of them so if you want to edit just highlight this one then press edit so from here as you can see there's this the list of the uh, voice that i'm included for this uh, command so when i say sara uh, these voices will be randomly played so just hit okay after editing then that's it guys then also don't forget to put description in your category then hit ok so that is for multiple uh, sound play then what if you have uh, multiple sequence not only one key bindings example uh, uh, um, for lock target you only you only one have a, a binding key to do that so you just so it's only for bind key T. Uh, so what if you have a uh, multiple sequence like uh, request dying permission so this is a good sample so when I say request dying permission you will see this uh, different uh, command sequence the sequence start from from this then it will end from here so that's the sequence so um, how this happened so Let's go in game and I'll explain to you. So in um, in request the information in game there's a sequence how to Welcome back, Commander. how to do that. So let's just let's just wait. Remember guys I'm using a default settings in my keybind so there's nothing to worry about. If there's some changes or uh, you, are you need to adjust to a beat dash QB six dash whatever you have uh, to a dash QB six dash one system. Touchdown on bleed e to a beat dash QB six dash one eight H the coordinates are one point one two um, degrees latitude, negative one hundred forty eight point one seven degrees longitude. Okay. So EDDI is one of the uh, is also a third party program. It's uh, very handy. So it tells you what is your current location, your next target, or uh, uh, the status of your ship. Anything else about uh, the planets? Uh, so it's very useful. Uh, maybe in next uh, video tutorial, I will uh, cover this one. So for now, okay. Uh, if I if I will uh, do some requests. Uh, request time permission so I need to press 1 then it will go to navigation then I need to press E so it will move on another uh, tab twice we need to go to contacts from contacts here is the request docking so I need to press again if, 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 if we are on the starport you will see the the, the request docking permission uh, option here then you need I need to press the S because it, the, the S is down for my uh, UI panel S then I need to press the space hit space to say OK then the voice pack will initiate the voice of uh, kicks for saying um, request dying permission initiated then after he say that uh, uh, the next command is Q so it will go back again to navigation then hit press 1 the last command 
So that is the, the sequence for uh, request the information. So as you can see, here's the, 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 the sequence. So press one key, pause again. I, I, I put some pause so it will be not, uh, so it will be the, 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 the what you call that, the flow of the sequence is uh, smooth. So press one key, put some pause, press key, press E key. Put another pause, then press E key, then put some pause, then press space, then pre another pause, then press S key, bind, another pause, then press space key, then uh, another pause again, then the, the, the play sound of kicks, requesting, requesting time permission, MP3, then press Q, pause again, press Q again. Pause again, then go back to number one. Hit hit number one, so it will be go back in the normal uh, view. So why we need to uh, do a uh, why we need to go back again? So as you can see, if you will only end up on this on the contacts. So once we go back again in our uh, uh, normal view, if we hit again number one. It will stay here. This is the last command that you do. So if you were say die permission, the sequence will do the same thing. But the problem, you are in the contacts tab panel, so it will do like this. So if you do, uh, if I say request die permission, it will it will it press press one, then press E twice. It will go to transaction. So it. it your doc uh, request time permission uh, sequence will need will be not completed so that's why after we uh, end up in contacts uh, after the last command of the playing audio of the uh, kick spore it will go back again to navigation then hit the last sequence command one so it will go back in normal view so so that's guy. So one thing first that I um, uh, like to share with you guys: if uh, in multi-part, you have two commands in one one um, uh, one keybind. So let's say this one: landing gear. Let's go up a little bit. So now, in in our Let's landing off. gear, deploy and retract, we have uh, uh, two commands. So if I say now uh, our landing gear is in in um, retracted position. So if I say gear down, gear down. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. The voice attack is turned off. So that's what I'm uh, I'm I try to tell you guys. If if this one one of these is uh, turned off and you have uh, some controls here, it will not work. So you need to uh, turn it turn this on. So let's try again if I say so you see uh, the, 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 uh, the exclusion of if so if I say landing gear if I say uh, if I say gear down it will it will not recognize because the the word if is in the inclusion so let's say gear down landing gear retracted see uh, the landing gear was been uh, why retracted <laughs> landing gear retracted ah yes ah, it should be landing gear deploy why it's uh... oh yeah so it's my mistake so as you can see it's 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 a uh, very uh, it's uh, <laughs> kind of a uh, uh, what you call it? <laughs> Uh, it's kind of a confusion or funny that you have two you have two commands in one um, one keybind. So be careful in 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 what you are saying. Uh, the word the the command should be on uh, you say is in the right. So see the our landing gear is uh, on deploy. So. I say I say the word gear down but supposed to be I need to say gear up like that so 
should say the right word command so uh, <laughs> it, 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 it will be uh, it will not be some kind of <laughs> funny very hilarious you know so now our landing gear is on up position it's on uh, retracted position so you need to say gear down gear down gear down gear down so the the computer uh, have, have delay so as you can see in my info landing gear already deployed and landing gear already retracted so <clears throat> let's try again there's a delay gear down So that's it guys so as you can see uh, you hear it and uh, for this part of uh, command I'm using the default voice in game so if you like to change if you like to add some voice for this uh, kind of uh, command for this uh, part of command you need to, uh, to um, mute go, go to audio then go to uh, ship voice volume and go to landing gear example for landing gear so you need to mute this one if you had uh, set up a voice in your voice attack like what we did on the targeting on the lock target I'm using the kicks for uh, uh, audio for that specific uh, target so since this landing gear have uh, uh, have a voice for this one so uh, I just use it so it will be very easy for me to set up the voice attack so I'm just using the default voice in for this uh, for this command for landing gear so if you have you just muted it and you see um, for the random uh, audio like the when I say Sara it will uh, say the the, the 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 voices audio that I set up randomly. So, Sarah, Sarah. Yes. So see, say yes. Now if I say again, Sarah. Yes. Sarah. Yes. Sarah. Sarah I'm listening So you see he's uh, saying the different uh, voices that I put in inside the voice attack randomly So um, what else So I think I already uh, discussed all the the basic setup to you guys so if one I need to bring down the So guys, uh, you can, you can just copy my uh, my profile. Coordinates are 1.12 degrees latitude, negative 148.17 degrees longitude. So there you have, there you are. This is the, the the basic setup for the the voice attack to integrate in your uh, Elite Dangerous uh, game. So this is my um. Uh, uh, command this of command in request docking you can just uh, copy this one and post you just post the video and copy the sequence and please check first your um, uh, controls if it's in the default um, so for uh, For interface mode, I'm using the WASD, then space for your panel select, then next panel tab E, previous panel tab is Q. So this is my controls for this uh, type of uh, 
settings. So I think I'm already done. And thank you again guys for watching this video. And I hope this one helps you a lot. And if you have some confusion or question about this, just comment down below. And thank you guys and enjoy your day. Bye.